Hey everyone, it's me, Blaze of War. Welcome back to Let's Play Ocarina of Time. So in the last episode, we uh, completed the Dodongo's Cavern. In this episode, I'm gonna climb up a mountain. So, uh, like, like the Dodongo told us to Death Mountain Trail, and uh, I suppose this is probably Death Mountain. Let's see. Mountain Summit, whatever. So, um, just gonna drop some bombs, because we can do that now. I wanna get away from the concussive blast. Uh, let's see if I can do this. That was good, okay. You can get a red rupee, which I can't use because my wallet's full. I really need to get a bigger wallet. Alright, down here I think there's a cow. I'm not gonna bother. Well, yeah, I guess I should show that there's a hole there. That's why the sound played. And there's a cow down there. Alright, so now we're going to climb up Death Mountain Trail. Um, and I think I'm going to try using a glitch. Well, it's not a glitch, but I'm going to try and sort of sequence break to, uh, to get a piece of the heart, which, I can't no which I'm not normally supposed to get if I don't completely screw this part up. But. Okay. Yeah. All right. So now I need my uh, slingshot thing. A slingshot thing. Yes. Let me lock on to you. And uh, I feel like there's another one right there. I can hit. Yeah, there's one right there. No. There we go. Let's get up here, and I think there's another. No, there's another. So let's keep on going, and there should be one right here, yeah. So let's hit this one. There we go. That had a heart, but I don't. I guess I don't really care about that. And, uh. Bugs down there. Oh, and bombs. Cool. Probably should have done that after I dropped this bomb, but whatever. There's the owl, but I'm gonna completely ignore him and go in here. Welcome to the Great Fairies Fountain. Now, uh, I think this fully heals me when I do this, but uh, I'm stupid. Play the right song. I said I'm stupid. Play the right song. There we go. Let's play Zelda's lullaby here. Uh, so I forget which one this is. This is the Great Fairy of Magic, I guess? I don't really know the names. I think this one gives me a spin attack. And Magic Power, of course. I'm the Great Fairy of Power, okay. She's gonna give me Sword Technique. And, uh, that's the spin attack, which I guess I'll show as soon as I get it, because it's not really that great. Yeah, she fully heals me, too. I don't know if I should be going into this with this many hearts, with this few hearts, rather. You know, have, uh, charged with your weapon, and, uh, you can, uh, spin. You want to release energy, your weapon, and rotate this thing once and press B for effective quick spin. Yes. You charge power, magic power will be consumed. Pay attention to your green magic meter. You're a messenger of the royal family, aren't you? Next time you're in their neighborhood, you should drop in on a friend of mine who lives by Hyrule Castle. She'll grant you another new power. Ooh, interesting. I think this one's required. Or that one is required. This one, I'm not sure if this one's required or not, but the one that I just did with the spin attack. Anyway, that's a spin attack, or you can hold it and it uses a bit of, of magic power. And yeah. I guess it's effective when you're surrounded by enemies, but I don't tend to be surrounded by enemies, so I'm just gonna sort of try to avoid this owl. And, uh, now here's the sort of sequence break you can do to get a piece of heart. You're not really supposed to be going in here this early. This is a Death Mountain Crater. Um, yeah. Yep, it's hot. So hot it hurts. Or her and her. Alright. Alright, 
so what you want to do is sort of quicken that, quicken your fall speed by doing that. Get your piece of heart, your piece of dumb. Yeah, I know. And then we're going to want to drop down and get out of here as soon as possible, because once that meter gets at zero, we're uh, pretty much screwed. Because I believe, yeah, it's instant death if that, if that hits zero, but fortunately it didn't hit zero, and I should be good. 15 seconds to spare. Alright, now we're going to talk to the owl thing. Hoot hoot. I'm going to go down the mountain, grab my talons, whatever. I skipped all that because no one wants to listen to the stupid owl. No one. Stupid owl. I think there's another uh, heart piece that I'm about to get because of this thing. Alright, yeah, we get it. You're drunk. You'll fly me somewhere. Jeez. And that puts me on the rooftop. I'm on the rooftop, yo. And I think, yeah, here's where we want to drop down. If I don't screw that up, jeez. Okay, and we go in here, and there's a cow, but more importantly, there's a piece of heart. Now I have a uh, half of a heart container. There's two more pieces of heart, and I should be good. Let's see how many sculptures I have right now. Eleven. Uh, I guess I can check to see if I have gotten a reward for collecting gold sculptures. Hey, a sculpture. I didn't. I guess I didn't get this one. I don't remember which ones I got. I never remember things like that. So, is it is it this one right here? This this house? I think it is. I think it's this house. Uh... So, what do you need? Do you tell me how many you need? No, you don't. No one tells me. Oh. The curse has been broken. Thank you. Here's a reward. Uh, ooh, an adult's wallet. That's just what I needed. Now I can carry up to 200 rupees. Alright, so I guess, yeah, the first reward you get is for collecting 10 gold sculptures. Uh, I'm not really sure what the increments are, if it's like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, or something like that, but uh, I'll look that up, because I don't really know. I know 50 is probably the, is, is the highest I would try to go, if I ever try to go that high. So yeah, um... I'm just gonna head over to Hyrule Castle now. Use the back walk, because apparently it's quicker. Speed run. No. It's not really. This isn't a speed run. This is like the complete opposite of a speed run. Yeah, yeah, I know. Alright. Uh, I really don't know where this bridge is, so. No, no. We wanna turn around and we wanna do this. So I have. Oh. Oh, that sucked. I have a little bit of sound lag the way I record, so I'm gonna just blame that for that. Yeah, there's like five second delay or something. I'm not really sure what's going on with that. Yeah. Alright. Uh, I guess we just wait here until, uh, morning. Watch out, indeed. There we go. And I got a magic jar, which, uh, fills my magic meter, I guess. Alright. Come on, stupid drawbridge, come down. Thank you. There we go. So let's just head on over to uh, that place that they were talking about. Magic place of magic. Now that we have bombs, we can do this. We couldn't have done. We yeah, we couldn't do this before if we didn't have bombs. 
So let's just go there now and we'll see what we get. What kind of magical, magical, magic can we get from magic? Yeah, see this, uh, this thing over here? I don't know if I really showed this when I had uh, originally been here. I don't know why I did that. I was very dumb. Yeah. And there's this little uh, thing here, which I can crawl into. And it leads to another fairy fountain. Jeez. Yeah, I have no idea when I'm playing the notes because this is like five seconds behind, like I said. <laughs> yeah, laugh all you want. <laughs> I am the great fairy of magic. Oh, so you're the great fairy of magic. But the other one's a great fairy. Pa that makes no sense. That makes absolutely no sense. Because Din is the goddess of power, so shouldn't this be the great fairy of power? And then the one that gives you the magic power is the fairy of magic? Whatever, I don't. I'm not gonna complain. You got Din's fire. This is required at least twice, I think, in the game. You can use it to attack, but burn things. Or you, not only to attack, but to burn things. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. So yeah, I think it's required at least twice in the game, but it it's pretty useful in other situations, because uh, I don't want to spoil any items, but there are certain points in which uh, you need to light things on fire, and uh, sometimes you have to shoot things through other things that are already on fire, in order to light things on fire, and yes, thin fire makes that easier because you don't have to aim, I guess. You just have to be near it. But it does use a lot of magic. Well, not a lot. It uses a decent amount of magic power, so just pay attention to your magic meter and don't use it too often. There you go. So where do we go next? Well, we gotta get that uh, that third. Uh, Medallion, th not medallion, um, the third thing, because we have the Kokiri Emerald and we have Goron's Ruby, so we need the blue one, and, uh, I was gonna say maybe I should go somewhere else, but, no, I think I'm going the right way, I think, uh, the place that I want to go, I will be going to eventually anyway, so it won't really matter. So here's where I want to go next. I'm not really sure if they tell you, hey, you're supposed to go here next. I guess you're just supposed to assume. But uh, this is, let's look at the sign, because I don't remember what it's called, Zora's River. And uh, yeah, can't get past here normally, and oh god, not the stupid freaking owl again. some more seeds, so I kind of need those, and, oh, seriously, seriously, shut up, stupid owl, now, um, if you, like, fall in the water later on, and you have to come all the way back, and you leave this area and come back, this owl will still be here, and he'll say the exact same thing. I'm not sure if it's a glitch, and I hear that bomb, which is about to blow up. Okay, I hope it didn't hurt me. This has been a waste of perfectly good bombs, stupid owl. Alright, um, because I'm kind of OCD, I'm just going to blow that up. And I thought there was a uh, filter over there, but I guess that's just butterflies. Alright, this jerk, okay. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Magic beans. This is the magic bean salesman. He sells ten magic beans. Uh, I guess the first one's ten rupees. And then each uh, subsequent bean that you buy from him will be uh, ten more rupees. So the next one will be 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and eventually 100 rupees. 
That's, yeah, really annoying. But you do need them to get certain uh, heart pieces in the game. So, aside from like two, which you can sort of sequence break in order to get, which I showed one of those, by the way, above uh, the Dondo's Cavern. Um, I forget what the other one is. But, uh, yeah. I'm just gonna keep talking to this dude and think. Yeah, I can only get two more. So I am just gonna spam that A button. And maybe B button if I can. Can I spam the B button? Yes, I can. Find a suitable spot. Blah, blah, blah. I understand completely. So, yeah. 